Hi, this is Dean Graziosi, and welcome to this week's blog. Hey, I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I hope you got my Christmas message. Uh, I think I sent it out on Christmas Eve to each of you, wishing you a great day. You know, I hope you didn't think, if you read my Christmas message, I hope you don't think I was being a downer, uh, talking about some of the bad Christmases I've had. I just know that life is a roller coaster, and some years you have an amazing, magical Christmas, and some years you could be stressing about money, relationships. I get all that. Going into New Year's right now, you might be worrying about money, your relationship, your life, your boss, your job. I get all that. But here's the thing to know. Life will always throw you obstacles. There's always going to be potholes in the road. What it is, it's not about eliminating the obstacles. It's about focusing on a bigger future for you and your family. All I know is, as a kid, when I was broke and didn't have presents, or when my parents split up on Christmas, you know, it kind of sometimes got me depressed. New Year, like, I have nothing to be grateful for. But what has allowed me to achieve is always that those those feelings go away from me like this because I think about how tomorrow is going to be better. I did it for years and I'm proof of concept and I have so many students like you who once didn't know they had things to be grateful for or didn't think they did and they started thinking about a bigger future for them and their family and guess what? It happened and it happens over and over and I get to watch hundreds and hundreds of my students' lives change, and I want that to be you. So let me back up for a second. First of all, I hope you had a really awesome Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope your holidays are going amazing. Now we're going in to the new year. It's going to be a time for change. Now, I know so many of you are going to set New Year's resolutions. You've done it for years, and unfortunately, by February 15th, you're back into your typical life, and most of them don't happen. Well, here's what I want you to do. Remember this. Sometimes in life, when you say yes to one thing, that means you have to say no to something else. So if you start all these huge ideal world scenarios for your New Year's resolution, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to do five real estate deals, I want my relationship to be better, spend more time with my kids, have a better life, exercise, eat right, all those things. All I know is if you put too many on your plate with too high of expectations and none of them happen, well, then again, you get disappointed and it was just a quick New Year's resolution. And that's not what I want for you. I want slow change that makes a difference in your life. So here's what I'm hoping you can do. Say no to a few of the things or just make smaller goals, but make them so they're achievable, right? And here's one more thing I want you to do. I want you to not only write down your goals for the new year, alongside the goals, I want you to put an emotion attached to how you'll feel. You'll feel confident, secure. If you, if you make your first deal in real estate by February, are you going to have more confidence? Are you going to feel more secure? Are you going to feel safe for your family? So I want you to put that emotion down. But I want you to add one more thing. I want you to add what will happen with your life if you don't achieve that goal. Ooh, that's a big one. If you say, I want to lose 20 pounds, well, what's the emotion you'll feel? Amazing, happy, energetic, right? I don't think energetic is an emotion, but that's how you'll feel. But... What if you don't lose that 20 pounds? Could you end up having a heart attack? Could your life be shortened and you not spend time with your family? That's a tough one, but it's a good one. If, if you put down you want to do your first wholesale deal by March, okay, what's the emotion you're going to feel? Put that next to it. But also, what if you don't do it? Well, are you still going to have the bills? Are you still going to be worrying about your future? Put that emotion or put the, the consequence if you don't reach that goal at just another little spark to get you going and get you out there making money. Listen, 2011 can be your year. Let me just tell you that. It doesn't matter if it's 2005 or 2035. Every year can be your year if you decide it's going to be. But I have to say, if you're ready to make money in real estate, 2011 is the year to do it. Guys, we crashed, we were up here, we're down at the bottom, and there's just these amazing deals that need to be picked up. There's people with cash trying to find those deals, and you can position yourself in the middle. If you're out there buying, well then, there's no better time to buy and hold and rent, and when the market goes up someday, then you cash out. So, and if you want to be a rehabber, Matt Larson, so many of our students are doing amazing things rehabbing. I'm rehabbing about seven myself right now. So uh, this is a great time, 2011 is your year. I want to say thank you for making 2010 amazing for me. All your posts that you leave encourage me to work my tail off. I'll never stop. We're working on private money. We're working on finding deals for you, working on new techniques and tools to share with you, to keep you going, and give you everything you need to succeed. I wish you an amazing 2011. Thank you for being a part of DG.com. Thank you for being a part of my family. And thank you for allowing me to share with you week after week. Have a great, great week. I'll talk to you soon.